Hey folks, welcome back to Military Forces Unleashed. Today, we're diving deep, literally and figuratively, into one of the most advanced warships ever built. This isn't just any ship, it's a bold step forward in operational endurance and modular design, redefining how modern navies approach long-term deployments. The German Navy's Type 125 Baden-Württemberg class frigate is here to show us what happens when cutting-edge tech meets ambitious design. Get ready for some high seas drama, because this ship has more twists than a maritime thriller. What if I told you there's a ship designed to operate continuously for up to two years, thanks to its innovative crew rotation system and modular payload capabilities? Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, welcome to the reality of the Type 125 Baden-Württemberg class frigate. But here's the kicker, it's not all smooth sailing. This beast comes with a price tag that could make your wallet cry and a maintenance schedule that would test even the most patient engineers. Stick around, because today we're unpacking the good, the bad, and the ugly of this modern marvel. To understand the Type 125, we need to rewind a bit. Naval warfare wasn't always about stealth and sustainability. Back in the day, it was all about brute force, battleships with massive guns trying to outshoot each other. But as technology evolved, so did strategy. By the late 20th century, navies started focusing on endurance, versatility, and adaptability. Enter Germany, a country known for its engineering prowess, but not exactly for dominating the seas. Germany's post-Cold War naval strategy shifted toward long-term deployments, crisis response, and stabilization missions. The Type 125 was conceived in the early 2000s to replace older Bremen-class frigates, which were showing their age. Think of it like upgrading from a clunky old desktop to a sleek gaming laptop, but with missiles instead of CPUs. Fun fact, the project faced delays longer than a Hollywood blockbuster's production schedule. Initially planned for delivery in the mid-2010s, the first ship didn't hit the water until 2016. Why? Budget overruns, technical challenges, and a whole lot of bureaucratic red tape. Classic military procurement, am I right? Let's talk specs. The Type 125 is no ordinary frigate. It's basically a floating fortress. At 155.6 meters long and with a displacement of approximately 7,200 tons, it's one of the largest frigates in the world. For comparison, that's roughly the size of a small cruise ship. Its top speed clocks in at around 27 knots, powered by a combined diesel, electric, and gas turbine propulsion system. Not exactly Formula One levels of speed, but hey, it's not supposed to be a drag racer. Now, let's get to the juicy part, the armament. The Type 125 packs an Oto Malara 76mm main gun capable of firing up to 85 rounds per minute. It also sports two MLG-27 remote-controlled autocannons for close-range defense. And don't forget the Harpoon anti-ship missiles and C-RAM CWAS for taking down incoming threats. Oh, and did I mention the modular payload bay? This thing can carry everything from drones to humanitarian aid supplies, making it as versatile as a Swiss army knife, if that knife weighed several thousand tons. But wait, there's more. The Type 125 is designed for extended operations, thanks to its two-crew concept. Two teams rotate every four months, allowing the ship to remain operational for up to two years straight, no pit stops needed. Imagine living on a floating office for months at a time. Sounds glamorous, doesn't it? Spoiler alert, it's not. Under the hood, the Type 125 is packed with futuristic tech. Its radar system, the TRS-4D, uses active electronically scanned array, ASA technology, to detect targets faster and more accurately than ever before. Think of it like having superhuman eyesight underwater. Then there's the Integrated Combat Management System, which ties everything together like the brain of the operation. But here's where things get interesting, or problematic, depending on how you look at it. All this tech comes at a cost, literally. 
Each Type 125 frigate costs between 700 to 800 million euros, making it one of the most expensive frigates ever built. That's enough money to make even the most seasoned defense contractor raise an eyebrow. Critics argue that the ship's complexity makes it expensive to maintain and prone to mechanical issues. Remember those delays I mentioned earlier? Yeah, they weren't just about paperwork. And let's not forget the environmental angle. The Type 125 is designed to minimize its carbon footprint using energy-efficient systems and sustainable practices. Kudos to Germany for thinking green, but does anyone else find it ironic that a war machine is trying to save the planet? So far, the Type 125 has seen limited action, mostly in training exercises and regional patrols. But its potential shines brightest in scenarios requiring prolonged presence, like counter-piracy missions or disaster relief efforts. During NATO's Dynamic Mongoose exercise in 2021, the Baden-Württemberg demonstrated impressive coordination with Allied forces in anti-submarine warfare scenarios. However, critics point out that its lack of heavy firepower compared to destroyers might leave it vulnerable in high-intensity conflicts. Sure, it's great at playing diplomat, but can it hold its own against peer adversaries? That remains to be seen. One thing's for sure, logistics are still a nightmare. Keeping such a complex ship running smoothly requires a small army of technicians and engineers. As one naval analyst put it, it's like owning a Ferrari. You better have deep pockets and a dedicated mechanic. All right, let's break it down. On the plus side, the Type 125 is undeniably innovative. Its modular design, advanced sensors, and dual crew rotation system set new standards for modern frigates. Plus, its ability to operate independently for extended periods gives navies unprecedented flexibility. On the flip side, the downsides are hard to ignore. The astronomical costs, frequent maintenance needs, and relatively light armament raise questions about its overall value. Some experts argue that simpler, cheaper ships could achieve similar results without breaking the bank. Others see it as a bold step toward the future of naval warfare, assuming you can afford it. Controversy alert! there's been heated debate within the German defense community about whether the Type 125 represents a wise investment or a vanity project. Supporters claim it's a necessary tool for projecting power and maintaining stability. Detractors call it a bloated boondoggle. Who's right? Probably both, to some extent. At the end of the day, the Type 125 Baden-Württemberg-class frigate embodies both the promise and pitfalls of modern naval innovation. It's a symbol of what's possible when ambition meets technology, but also a reminder of the challenges that come with pushing boundaries. Whether it's worth the investment depends on who you ask, but one thing's certain, it's redefining what a frigate can do. If you're as amazed by this floating fortress as we are, don't forget to hit that like button. It's the closest you'll get to commanding a Type 125 from your couch. Subscribe for more content and drop a comment below. Would you rather sail on this high-tech marvel or stick to something simpler? And if you've got ideas for future topics, let us know. We love hearing from you. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Your support keeps this channel sailing strong. If you want to explore more military history and tech, check out our playlist. Until next time, Keep your eyes on the horizon and your mind sharp. Fair winds and following seas.